our channel clothes the topic for today's video tutorial is open cross acne we have designed this video tutorial uh, with the intent in mind that saji trainee are seeing less and less open cross acne in the present era of technological advances and uh, every surgeon or surgical trainee should uh, have this technique in their armamentarium because once or more uh, you will be required this technique while doing lap colsectomy as the lap colsectomy is the most common uh, surgery performed and in the present era of technological advances we are seeing less and less open colsectomy so we feel that surgery trainee are not getting adequate exposure of open colsectomy so uh, in this video we have demonstrated four uh, different technique of open colsectomy Uh, the first case will be elective open colsectomy the second case we have demonstrated fundus first approach and in third case we have demonstrated a residual gallbladder stump after open colsectomy and the fourth case was a difficult lap colsectomy in which uh, the surgeon did lap convert to open partial colsectomy so stay tuned till the end of this video for better understanding of the topic as i said this will be a complete guide and uh, we had demonstrated all the key steps and uh, i hope the surgical trainee will benefit from this video so briefly the theoretical part the open colsectomy indications are less and less in the present area as most of the cases will be done by lap laparoscopic method don't think of conversion to open as complication friends keep this line in mind and uh, any any time you are in doubt or in difficulty uh, the conversion to open is a good clinical judgment and don't hesitate to convert always involve your colleague preferably a senior surgeon and uh, take a timely uh, decision uh, don't hesitate to convert if the anatomy is unclear a complication arise or there is a failure to make progress in a timely manner there are some indication of conversion to open colli which one should not ignore like massive hemorrhage that can be bleeding from the right hepatic artery or from the portal vein branch or there is if there is a major cbd injury uh, conversion allows additional tools of manual palpation that you can palpate the structure manually and have better haptic sensation conversion should be performed if anatomy cannot be delineated after a reasonable attempt because the inflammation adhesions and anomalies or conversion may be needed if there is fistula between biliary system for example cholecystodeodenal cholecystocolic fistula which cannot which cannot be managed uh, by laparoscopy and if you suspect there is a, a suspicion of carcinoma gallbladder friends uh, please remember if there is any suspicion like the gallbladder is thick or there is a, any possibility that we are dealing with carcinoma gallbladder always try to convert because any attempt to persist with dissection will lead to perforation and bile spillage and that will make uh, this tumor as amban disease the technical aspects of open colli are similar to the laparoscopic method the fundus and infundibulum are grasped with the curved clamps fundus is retracted anteriorly and superiorly as in lap colli towards the right shoulder the infundibulum is inferiorly and laterally that is towards the right aleic fossa and that will give us proper vector force and will open the callus triangle the co caudal condor retraction of hepatodural ligament will expose the porta hepatic structures and uh, it is a uh, common saying at given as given by monihan that it is the left hand of the assistant that does all the work because with the help of left hand the assistant will retract the uh, porta downwards and that will help us to better delineate the structures the key steps are similar to lap colli and uh, only we have to imitate in a open manner friends uh, please remember these five golden rules during difficult laparoscopic colsectomy and uh, these are given our uh, standard surgery textbook and i have taken it from willy and dub The first rule is when anatomy of triangle of callus is unclear one should not attempt blind dissection that will lead to injury second is any bleeding around triangle of callus should be controlled by press pressure not by blind clip, clipping clamping or 
uh, by cautery just apply a gauze and uh, keep pressing the bleeding point for uh, 8 to 10 minutes and most of the bleed will stop when in doubt about anatomy ad adopt the retrograde or fundus first method fourth is if cystic duct is densely adherent to cbd or there is a possibility of mirage open in fundible long gallbladder and remove the gallbladder remove the stone and the infundible is over soon as any attempt to dissect out the cystic duct from the cbd will lead to injury and it will be high injury that will be e3 type that uh, will open the uh, hy uh, hilum uh, of right and left duct and uh, one can lead in uh, lead in thick soup so friends just remember this fourth rule that if the cystic duct is adherent don't try to dissect it out uh, uh, bluntly just open the infundibulum remove the stone and oversew the infundibulum friends just remember these five golden rules and that and they will help you to sail safely uh, during laparoscopic colostomy and during your surgical career the fifth and the most important uh, part is that cholecystotomy indications are rare in the present uh, time but it may be required in a case of ehpvo or portal hypertension or so if you see a uh, large collaterals around the porta around the um, gallbladder so uh, convert to open don't try to do the lap coli because it will lead to torrential bleed and uh, one may lose the patient so just remember if you are if there are large collaterals around the porta convert to open open the gallbladder from the fundus and uh, remove as many stone as possible uh, and uh, remove part of the gallbladder for histopathological examination from fundus part don't try to dissect it from the uh, liver bed because there are many collaterals and if they open uh, they are very difficult to control so insert large full foliage catheter 14 french foliage catheter place in the fundus of gallbladder and is oversewn with the direct track externally the residual stones can if left behind can be extracted with the help of colloidoscope coming to the first case uh, this was 35 year old female with history of symptomatic gastrointestinal disease and no history of jaundice a patient had multiple open abdominal surgery she had uh, colonic injury uh, that is uh, sigmoid injury during uh, cesarean section that led to fecal and peritonitis for which uh, uh, we did the colostomy diverging colostomy later on she developed a bust abdomen and uh, that was managed now patient uh, presented for uh, colostomy for symptomatic gallstone disease uh, her ultrasound was normal just your gallstone disease with normal gb ball cvd was 6 mm there was no ihbrd portal vein was normal and liver was normal so if had any case which be planned for lap colostomy always check for the cvd size for ihbrd portal vein and liver and uh, uh, in the liver function test the alkaline phosphatase level are very important so patient in supine position and we have given a modified cochrane season Uh, the middle end of the